Hey guys, and uh, welcome to another episode. So on this episode, I'm gonna be refreshing my Honda Civic EP3 SI, so stay tuned. So if you've been following the channel for any time, you know that I bought this Honda Civic EP3 SI about a month, month and a half ago, and I've been driving it pretty much every single day other than the short time that it was kind of out of commission for that uh, clutch safety switch. Uh, but it's been a really great commuter and the car was actually in like immaculate condition. But that being said, there were a few things um, that I noticed that need addressed. And then also just my crazy OCD of, even though the last owner told me he changed the oil right before he sold it to me. And I totally believe him based on the interactions I've had with him. He was a very trustworthy guy. I'm gonna go ahead and put new oil in it just because I'm crazy OCD like that. And uh, I couldn't possibly have O'Reilly's auto, auto oil in my car. Just kidding, I don't really care. But I'm gonna put a liquid volley in it like I do all my cars. Um, the other stuff I'm gonna be doing too on this episode, got new spark plugs, got new manual transmission fluid. This is like my absolute favorite thing to do when you get a new old used car. Um, especially this one has 190,000 miles on it, 185,000 miles on it, sorry. And if this has never been done before, I bet it's gonna be a night and day difference when this gets changed out as far as the shifter feel. Um, obviously oil change, spark plugs, got all new uh, crush washers for the transmission and for the oil drain plug. Another new clutch safety switch that I'm just gonna leave in my glove box in case that ever happens again. Uh, I got a new cabin air filter. And then I got the new front sway bar end links uh, that were worn out. So it should be pretty simple uh, to get this all done in a few hours. Uh, I'm gonna watch some baseball and take it easy. Uh, so with that, let's get to it. Change the transmission fluid, I ended up removing the wheel, although I don't think it is necessary to perform this job. Here you can see the location of the fill and the drain plug. Smartly enough, the drain plug is just a 3 8 ratchet, since there's not much room between it and the frame rail. Look at how nasty this gear oil is. I think it's gonna be a vast improvement when I drive the car. Both the drain and fill plugs have replaceable crush washers. You can either pump in the new fluid or you can do it with a funnel from above. And this is exactly why I trust but verify what people tell me about cars, because this oil is definitely not just changed. The oil filter on this car is not particularly easy to get to and also leaves quite a mess.
There's always that one stubborn bolt. Luckily all the rest are pretty easy after this. So here's the new versus the old one. Um, so you can see how cracked that boot is. Any flew of those in there has long been gone on that one. So hopefully this will improve the, just uh, solidness of the front end, hopefully quite a bit. So these are the new ones. Um, there's a different part number for the two sides. So that's why I just made sure I, I matched up the right one and I guess this was the 50 50 90 that you actually got it right this is the right side for the driver's side this will be hopefully for the right one for the passenger side these uh were quite challenging to get off for a texas car they were pretty rusty so if you're in a northern state good luck to you now the new links went in much easier um they should be torqued to spec at ride height obviously i can't get under this car at right height to torque them, so I just put a little bit of load on the suspension and then I'm gonna torque them to 30 foot pounds. I couldn't find an exact torque spec, but everything was right around 30 foot pounds, and that sounds about right to me, so that's what I'm gonna do. Granted, I'm never gonna fit my torque wrench in there, so just doing it by feel. While I'm doing all this other work, I decided to go ahead and clean and oil my pod filter. After changing the spark plugs on the Saab and 911, the Volkswagen and this K20A3 are such a refreshment. Both of them are the easiest spark plug changes I've done in a long time. The spark plugs were actually in immaculate condition, but it's a pretty cheap piece of mind to go ahead and replace them. German oil in a Japanese car. Hopefully this isn't a bad omen, although I guess the car was designed in Frankfurt. cabin air filters were the most disgusting I've seen. The plastic cover for my cabin air filter was missing so I used some aluminum ducting tape to close it off. The 
light bulbs for the cluster take an uncomfortable amount of force to remove from their holder. I'm definitely going to appreciate being able to see my gauges at night now. I actually ended up finding the engine label plate on top of the lower radiator core support when I was replacing the starter. So that's a wrap on another episode. Uh, unfortunately, I had to wait till the next day to take the car for a drive just because the air filter wasn't drying out and I wanted to make sure it was really dry before I oiled it. Uh, so I waited until the next day, but I just got done taking the car for a short drive and it's like, oh my God, what a night and day difference. It's amazing how some like cheap parts and just some like TLC can make a car feel like so much different because just those like cheap sway bar links made the front end feel so much more solid. It's not clunky over bumps like it was before. Um, it just doesn't have any looseness in it anymore. So that was a awesome improvement for a relatively low cost. I think it was like $25 for each side. So like $50 for a sorted solid front end, I'll take it any day. And then also the shifter feel is like a thousand times better. It's so much more smooth and removed all the notchiness that I had before. So another cheap fix. It's pretty amazing that like, it really costs pretty much no money to like completely get this car up to like a high standard. It's being all perfect, but it's good enough for me because I think it was like $150 all for the parts because it was like $50 for both sway bar and links. Um, it was probably like $40 in oil, maybe $10 for an oil filter, uh, $25 for the spark plugs, it was like $20 for the cabinet filter, the light bulbs for the cluster the previous owner gave me for free. So yeah, for really not that much money, the car is like pretty much pristine now. Uh, so, or at least it's mechanically pristine. Uh, so yeah, looking forward to putting some more miles on it. Um, I hope you guys liked this episode and uh, as always, if you really liked it, then uh, go ahead and like and subscribe and uh, stay tuned for next time. Not really sure what I'm gonna be doing, maybe some all track content or maybe finally starting to work on this uh, sob over here. Uh, anyways, uh, see you next time, bye.